Hello and welcome to yet another Equity for Keeps video. And in this video, we're going to try and cover P interest. Uh, it came to our notice um, last night, um, the 17th of uh, June 2020. So we're just going to uh, quickly start with uh, this uh, presentation we have here. So it says uh, P interest looks promising right now. Uh, the equity just broke out above a down downtrend line connecting high highs. A subsequent pullback also found support near this area, keeping beans at a 12% lead for the year. Analysts uh, aren't uh, convinced, which could spark some tailwind in using upgrades going forward. Of the 17 in coverage, just 7 called the stock a buy. Or better while the remaining 10 say hold and while shots have started to jump and uh, they are down 25.9 percent in the last uh, two reporting periods 16.61 million shares sold shots still represent a whopping 19.3 percent of uh, pin interests available float which could result in a short squeeze should more bears begin to hit the exits Based on estimates for the next two years, PINs will show a very strong growth in earnings per share. The earnings per share will grow by 46.82% on average per year. The earnings per share growth is accelerating. In the next two years, the growth will be better than in the last years. The revenue has grown 51.17% in the past year. This is a very strong growth. The put call ratio is uh, 0 0.3 for one day and 0 0.3 as well for 30 days. And the standard deviation is uh, 1.34. Uh, one standard deviation is 2.68791. And the uh, price range of this one standard deviation is between 21, 22, 98, and 24. 33 and currently it is just um, 58 uh, 0 0.58 dollars away from that uh, range so it's not um, in its uh, one standard deviation yet but we're going to come back and show you this chart uh, the chart the chart you saw earlier on uh, in the last 10 trading days it has obviously traded above uh, the day 200 moving sorry 20 day moving average and uh, it uh, has also uh, outperformed its uh, 200 day moving average so this 200 moving average it's it is this the trend line we indicated when we were in, in that presentation that is the trend line uh, that covers high 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 the high of highs so this is the trend line that uh, tracks the high of highs it has recently outperformed that so this is when it outperformed that uh, this trend line this trend line so this is when it it's uh, from here is when we had performed it and then that pullback was what we saw here again and it, it was also near still within uh, not very far off from that uh, trend line as well and also it was also it did not um, go beyond the 20 day uh, simple moving average so another thing we can also see here is the um, time series forecast the time series forecast look at it here Look at it up here. It says it is. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's a it time series forecast puts its uh, price at twenty one thirty three, whereas it is currently at uh, twenty two forty. So its forecast is forecasting twenty one thirty three, and it's uh, currently uh, something above that. So um, we'll put this out for you to have a look and see and decide uh, what you're going to make of. Uh, um p interest we don't exactly think it's uh, that it's much is not uh, so it's not a very uh, fascinating um play and um we have uh we may have uh produced some disparities in that presentation um we got the data from somewhere else but um oh, the hot shot interest we have here is uh two point uh, 
2.8%. It also corresponds with uh, what we calculated from here as well, 2.8%. So um, the available flow we mentioned in the in the presentation could be something else. What we're not very sure of, but um, um, the shares are outstanding. Should be uh, pop should it should mean the shares probably available in a market that has that has uh, already been. Um, disclosed to the uh, um, SEC and available in the markets and if you're going by that figure the, the short interest is 2.8 percent not a very wonderful uh, percentage it would take about 1.3 days to cover that it says here short interest ratio 1.3 days and um, but it has this uh, put call ratio of 0 0.3 so that will be uh, 3 divided Sorry, 0 0.3 divided by 1.3. So we are looking at 23% of uh, pools, um, of 23% of, of the open interest are puts, and then the rest, uh, 20, the rest is 76% of their about are calls. So, um, you know, indeed, uh, such ratios and such um, um, disparities and such um, deviations can um, uh, lead to things. People uh, can always uh, look at them and uh, decide to uh, do a few things as well. But it can also influence uh, people's uh, decisions and their sentiments. So we've uh, tried to cover this a bit for you, and um, we we'll leave it uh, we leave it uh, for you to decide what you're going to do with. Um, be interest. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe to our channel.